Losing your sight can mean a lot of changes in a person's life and will certainly affect how the world around them is perceived. Well, at the Southampton City Museum, they give people with visual impairment an opportunity to touch some of the exhibits in what they call touch tours. A chance to get hands-on to perceive the art in a new way in a fun and social atmosphere. I went along to one of their bi-monthly sessions to find out more about this unique opportunity. Art is often said to be down to a person's interpretation, but when you have little or no sight, this is made harder, as most galleries or museums don't allow the exhibits to be touched. But once every two months at the Southampton City Museum, this isn't the case. Well, it's basically an occasion where visually impaired and blind people can come in this case to the art gallery and touch the artworks that we have in the collection. So sometimes they're here actually um, in the art gallery, sometimes we go to the city and touch some of the things in the museum and Tudor House um, and recently actually we went over to the Aspects Gallery and had a touch tour there in, the, in their gallery too so we move around a bit. So my role basically is to find works in the collection that we can um, access and bring out and touch. So that's, yeah, yeah, that's one of the hardest things is actually finding new material but also we revisit things as well because like, like anybody it's nice to go back to the gallery and look at something again so we do bring things out um, like periodically that we have already touched but yes I'm always on the lookout for interesting things for, for these sessions. For Jo it was a family connection that inspired her to help people with sight loss in this way. I'm, I have always been involved in education and um, my father had macular degeneration and glaucoma so I was very interested in um, making everything accessible to people who are visually impaired as well so so, um, yeah, that was, my, that was my route, really, through my father having lost his sight and um, making, yeah, it, I'm very passionate about making art accessible to visually impaired people. Sculpture's really made to be touched, and I think in some ways the visually impaired people here have the upper hand because normally we're not allowed to touch the artwork, so they actually get, to they get the opportunity to touch the work and explore the finer details, um, which we sighted people miss very often. You look at things, but you don't actually see things very often, so I think they get... They have a really special opportunity here to feel things. And I come away every time after these sessions having learnt much more about the artworks through having touched them and through experiencing through working with people with visual impairment. And some of the group have been coming to the sessions for over 15 years now. Yes, I first came in 2001. I, I, I was fully sighted until about 20 years ago. Uh, that was when I became interested in art. I have been really all my life. Uh, and I can imagine works of art that I've known in the past, paintings, and sometimes we have paintings and drawings described to us, uh, but uh, particularly with sculpture we have the opportunity to touch things which, generally speaking, the general public are not allowed or encouraged to do. So we are incredibly fortunate in that in that sense. They are very enriching se sessions and um, they're a very nice social situation as well for visually impaired people. Some people here do live on their own so it's a really lovely occasion to come together and um, they just dis discuss other things that they are able to access as well in the community so I think they're really good gatherings, social gatherings as well as to learn about the artworks. Whether you've got, whether you're interested in art or not, whether you have any knowledge of art or not, in fact especially if you've never really taken any notice of art previously I can thoroughly recommend it because feeling things is another way of perceiving them whether you were born without sight or whether you have been sighted in the past and it, 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 it really adds another dimension to the way in which you understand the world. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.